Hey guys, it's Kita. If you've made it this far in the video, I have a very important message for you all. Just to kind of give you a moment of transparency, some things that I've been working through, and to share some interesting facts to you. If you did or did not know, according to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, 80% of US students report feeling stressed, sometimes or often, and 34% felt depression. I wanted to share this little message with you all today because, as you saw in the last clip, that was the romanticized version of my productivity, my studying, kind of what it looks like on a really, really good day when I'm like really feeling it. And in reality, that's just not always going to happen, you know? Sometimes I am in a really good mood where I can do those things, where I can go outside and be in a really good location to study where I'm like super focused and I have you know the yummy drink and a muffin and I'm really feeling the vibes that I'm really really happy and like focused but it's not always happening that way if you didn't know I'm a freshman at the University of Maryland and so I've had a little bit of experience now with um finding my study routine and I've had to overcome some hurdles especially with feeling like I needed everything to be perfect I needed to have things a certain way in order to be productive and I learned very quickly that it's not always going to happen you know sometimes you gotta like work through chaos and sometimes you have to work through what you have especially like a day like today where I'm kind of like you know if you hear the nasally so sorry but you know I'm not feeling my best and I need to make do and that's totally okay it's totally fine especially doing social media I tend to go on you know YouTube TikTok Pinterest Instagram to get inspiration to get ideas just to like you know foster creativity and that is totally okay but I tend to scroll for several several hours and then it gets out of hand that aspect because I think okay well, they did it this way, so I need to do it this way. And I'm here to let you know that it doesn't always have to be that way. You know, realistically, consuming so much social media has really taken a toll on my mental health overall because I tend to really feel down on days where I don't have the energy to get up and go outside and then I just end up in the spiral of not doing work because I feel like I need to go out to do work and then it's just like, a never-ending cycle and so I just want to let you know that 
social media is great it's a great tool it's amazing to be on for entertainment but i want us all to be mindful of consuming too much of it because over time it can take a toll on our body an online social networking and mental health study has linked prolonged use of social media to signs of depression and especially low self-esteem. And even more, a 2018 British study has tied social media to decreased, disrupted, and delayed sleep, which is associated with depression, memory loss, and poor academic performance. So I want us all to be at our best. I want us all... I love you guys. I want us all to be able to be at our best. I want us all to feel rejuvenated, not feel burnt out the fourth week of the semester. Whether you're in high school, middle school, college, or you've already graduated, or you're not in college at all, wherever you are in life, I want us all to be mindful of the way that we consume social media and the effects that it can have with our productivity, with our work life, social life, and even just like their home life, you know, I want us all to be able to use it as a tool and not in a dangerous way. This next clip is going to show you the real, the raw, the realistic productivity, you know, me in the basement of Cumberland Hall on the whiteboard, you know, doodling, kind of getting my thoughts out on a physical, tangible um, platform so I can kind of see where I am being frustrated, you know, working through some things and listening to music to hype myself up, all of the things. And I'm here to let you know that it's totally okay. It's its own aesthetic in a way. And I just want to normalize that. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Be conscious of your social media consumption. And don't worry about the aesthetics all the time.
And that's my advice for you today. See you guys soon. Bye.